Jessica with Evo Listings and as part of our Experts Corner today, we have Charlie and Samantha with Yacht Picks. They're professional photographers and they're going to give us a better idea of how to take more professional and better photographs of our boats for sale. Charlie? Hi Jess. Uh, yeah, I'm a, a professional photographer based out of uh, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I've been shooting yachts for the last 13 years and I've, I've been a photographer for the past 30 years. Um, so. If you like, we can kind of go along and, and show you how to how to take better pictures uh, to help your boat hopefully sell a little faster and get the get the phone ring. Better real quick and assess it and and see what needs to be done. Um, you know, now on this boat here, very nice boat. It's kept on a lift. Bottom's very clean. That's another great selling point, and you would definitely want to get a picture of that. Basically, a nice shot of the boat sitting on the lift. One shot is really all you need because you're not trying to sell the lift, we're, we're trying to sell the boat. But when you put it in your listing that it's been kept on a lift, you've got the proof that it has been on the lift. Um, the other things when I, when I come up to the boat, I would look, there's a bunch of uh, tools, there's some uh, a mop, a scrub brush, uh, you've got a, a console cover on it, which is good. That's another thing, take a shot of the console cover, shows that it's kept care. Um, you know it's out of the sun but when you go to take your pictures to show everything you want to take everything off the boat it's it the deck should be clean there shouldn't be anything laying around you've got your lines hanging up here they should come off the boat uh, if they can't come off roll them up wrap them up very nice and neat um, and then you know you've got your bird's nest up here that you could uh, or your crow's nest I'm sorry uh, Put that up to show that, that that's working and, and on the boat. Um, other than that, the, the, the boat looks nice and clean. Um, the upholstery looks good. Uh, like I said, just anything that's sitting around, there's some lines in here that, that should be taken off. Um, and then once you get that done, you can either go ahead and, and shoot the boat here on the lift for all your interior shots, um, or the best thing to do would actually be to take the boat down off the lift and stay on, obviously you'd need two people for this. If you only have one, it, it would be very difficult, but you take, you know, one person would take it away from the dock and you want to get it, and you also want to look at your background. You want to have a nice, uncluttered background. If you can put it in front of some trees, some mangroves, uh, or like here, you've got some beautiful homes across the way, um, have the boat be pulled out nice squared off shot of the starboard side and the port side um, so you know you would have the captain spin the boat around a couple times get some nice shots um, and then the ideal thing would actually be to get on the boat and then go back out into the water in a nice area where you've got a nice background and shoot your interiors from there so you don't have all this background with the uh, with the lift, with the dock, with other boats that are next to you. If you can get out in the way and take those pictures, you'll, you, your pictures will look much better because your background is nice. Uh, and the other thing that'll do is, as you look here, we're in, in the bright sunlight, you'll be able to maneuver the boat and move it so that you can get good light for the picture that you're trying to take. You know, from, from the back of the boat, I would typically take three shots. One from each corner, one from the center, so you can kind of see the view that you get from the back of the boat. Come in, take, take a shot from here to show your electronics. Maybe take another shot from the side to show your electronics a little bit closer. This whole area, turn around, take one shot so you can see the motors. Obviously, it's an outboard boat, so you know people there are, are very interested in seeing the motors. Um, and then once the boat's taken down off the lift and, and spun around, you can get a shot of the motors from the from behind. That's typically has the the information about the motor on there, horsepower, make, manufacturer, that type of thing. So, uh, other than that, I would come up and take one shot from beside the console, looking forward go up to the bow, take one shot looking straight back, come back over the other side of the console, take a picture looking forward. That covers the whole boat. Like I was saying earlier, once you, you, know, to, to, you get the boat off the lift, out of the slip, 
uh, to do the profile shots, which are the, the main shots that, that most websites use, uh, either a port side or a starboard side shot. Uh, in this location right here, you, all you need to do is pull the boat out, come out here a ways. You don't need to be that far away, depending on your camera, but uh, the background's nice. It's, it's unobstructed. Um, you know, you pull out, spin around a couple times, get the port side, starboard side, and uh, make sure the bumpers are off of the boat, nothing hanging over the side. Again, it goes back to keeping the boat uncuttered and clean. Um, and once you've got that, you put her back in a slip and, and hopefully, hopefully sell your boat. So uh, hopefully some of those, oops, sorry, some of those tips will, will, will help you guys out. Great, thank you so much for you guys coming and showing us how to take better photographs, uh, more professional photographs of our, of our yachts for sale. And we're definitely looking forward to the next Experts Corner. And hopefully you guys can tell us, um, give us some pointers on using our GoPro and how to better use our own cameras on sure. um, taking more professional um, photographs. So if anybody has questions or they are interested in your services, how can they get all of you? Uh, well, they can go to my website, which is uh, www.yachtpix.com. Uh, they can send me an email at charlie at yachtpix.com. Uh, or if they'd like, they can give me a call, 561-602-9710. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. All right. Thanks a lot.